Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over my current computer setup, give you an idea about what type of hardware I'm using and why. Okay, so this video was actually recommended or requested by one of my viewers. They said they were about to build a new PC and wanted to know what I was using and since it's been quite a while since I did a PC setup or computer setup video, some things have changed. I figured I'd go ahead and make an updated video for you guys. Now I will be getting kind of technical in this video. I apologize about that. If you're not a computer geek, you're probably not going to care about it. But I know a lot of people out there, especially that one viewer, they're going to want to know some specifics. So yeah, so that's why. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, we're gonna talk about the accessories and then we will get to the computer and its components. Uh, first thing is going to be my monitor. So if you've seen some of my other videos where I talk about upgrading my monitor, you know that I am currently using a big 40 inch 4K Samsung TV as my computer monitor. I have always loved Samsung. They just have great colors, very vibrant colors, very bright colors and the contrast is excellent that's the main key you guys know contrast is king so the blacks are true black in a very deep black it's not just a dark gray i also wanted to get a 4k monitor because i really wanted to give my eyes the best chance they could to see the image and 4k is great it really is a beautiful image i also have my monitor on a wall mounted monitor arm and this is so I can move it, I can get it closer, I don't have to lean in to see the monitor. You guys know we're, we're constantly bent over looking at things and that can cause a lot of issues with our backs and with our necks. So anything I can do to help alleviate that is a win-win for me. Uh, check out this video where I talk about that, I talk about the monitor. I also have a video showing the accessibility of the Samsung Smart TVs. The smart TVs actually have really good accessibility for the visually impaired. The keyboard I'm using is the ASIO Vision Backlit USB Large Print Keyboard. <laughs> and I think it's funny it's called a Vision, I guess because it's large print. But it's really nothing special. I just wanted a backlit large print keyboard. This one looked good for a decent price, so I grabbed it. I've been happy with it. Uh, maybe the keys aren't as separated as I would maybe like. They could be a little bit better. So for tactile touch typing, you know, you can feel the separation between the keys a little bit better, but it's not too bad. It has five different colors you can choose from. I really wanted a backlit keypad so the numbers and the letters would stand out against the, the color of the keys. Once again, contrast. Even if you are a touch typist, there are those random times where you have to use those keys that you don't use very often. Print screen, insert, home, back, not back, use back all the time. You know what I mean. So there are those times that you're gonna be looking at the keyboard and the backlit, the large print that helps to see those keys. The mouse I use is just a Logitech, uh, it's a Logitech MX Master Series mouse. The reason why I got it had pretty good reviews, but mainly because it had the thumb buttons that were programmable. I have mapped those buttons to the zoom in and zoom out of Windows Magnifier. I've got a video showing how to do that using a third party program. Logitech is great because it actually gives you its own software to remap the buttons, so it makes it super easy. It's got a couple extra really cool features. It's wireless, just overall pretty decent mouse. Except, one thing I noticed is, if you're a left-handed user, you can't use this mouse. It is only set up for right-handed users. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm sorry, lefties. You guys get the short end of the stick all over the place. I, and I, I really feel bad for you. Why has it got to be a right-handed dominant world? Why has it got to be a sight dominant world, right? Okay, let's get into the computer itself. So, this PC I built myself with help from my son, and I was using the Patriot Viewpoint to do it. I've got a video documenting that whole process, link in the description down below. The case I'm using is the NZXT H500. It's an ATX mid-tower design. It says it's compact, but this thing is not compact. It's huge. Even with all my components in there, I've still got a ton of room for extra things in the future. 
Next is the motherboard. I went with the MSI Arsenal Gaming motherboard. Uh, it's a, what is it, B450 Tomahawk. It's just a really solid, high-performing motherboard that could handle everything I'm gonna throw at it. It's got upgrades for like 3D gaming and all kinds of stuff. I don't know, it's, it's just a pretty good motherboard. All right, and the brains of the computer, the processor, I decided to go with the AMD Ryzen 7 2700 processor. Uh, AMD has really come a long way and they are definitely, in my opinion, on par with Intel. And for certain tasks, I think it's even above, even above Intel. The tasks that I'm gonna be using my computer for, which we'll get to that here in a minute. But uh, it's eight cores, uh, 16 threads, the running speed is right around 3.2 gigahertz, but it can be overclocked to like 4.1, all the way up to like 4.4 gigahertz. I, I'm not overclocking mine yet. It, I haven't had any kind of performance problems what I'm using it for, but it's nice to know that I can do that in the future if I want to. My graphics card is a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. I believe it has four gigabytes of memory. I don't need a crazy powerful gaming graphics card. This one is perfectly fine for what I need. I may end up upgrading in the future to a 1080. I would love a 1080, but um, uh, it's fine for right now. My hard drive, I'm using a Crucial MX500 one terabyte solid state drive. And I'm actually using the M2 type. Uh, I'm not using SATA. This thing is crazy. When I first pulled it out of the packaging, I was just blown away because it looks like a stick of gum. It literally like an oversized stick of gum. It is tiny. And I'm coming from mechanical drives, which are huge. Uh, I've never had a solid state drive, but I tell you, now that I do, I will never go back to mechanical. Solid state is the way to go. It's incredible how fast it is. Programs just pop open. My computer boots up in like seconds. It's awesome. I will probably get another terabyte to go in. Um, one terabyte is just, even though it's a crazy amount of space, it's not quite, I'm, I'm almost filled that up already. So I probably will upgrade to another terabyte, but you know, been very happy with it so far. My RAM is, I, these things, they always have num, uh, letters for their names. It's like XPGZ100, I, I forget what it is. The important part is that it's DDR4, which is one of the latest versions of memory, 2400 megahertz, and I am running 32 gigabytes of RAM in my system. Overkill, maybe, <laughs> but for what I'm using it for, it definitely helps. And then finally, my power supply is just an EVGA. It's a 500 watt power supply. Plenty of power for what I need right now, and even enough to upgrade components in the future. I'm running Windows 10 64-bit, Windows 10 Pro, I believe it is. And the main function of my PC is for this, for YouTube. It's, it's editing videos, uh, editing videos, editing motion graphics, editing photos. I don't do a ton of gaming. I do have a couple graphics heavy demanding games on here and they run fine. I haven't had any issues, but it's mainly for editing. As I said before, that's the reason I went with the AMD because AMD tends to be better uh, performing with editing. I'm able to edit 4K video without too many issues. Uh, as I said, I might upgrade to the 1080 uh, graphics card sometime in the future. That would definitely help with that. But like I said, right now, it's it, everything's going great with it. Knock on wood. Benefits of building your own computer. You can get a pretty powerful computer for not a ton of money, and especially a PC. The, the power equivalent of my PC versus a Mac the, it would be three times as much, I'm sure. Another benefit is you can set it, you can build it in a way that sets it up for future upgrades. But that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, it's kind of a little different than what I normally put out, but as I said, it was requested. Okay guys, until next time, I'll see you later.